Welcome to the video tutorial for the visual print editor. The print editor allows you to quickly create professional presentations to represent your lighting design. The print editor generates reports to summarize your calculation, including calculation drawings, rendering views, calculation statistics, luminaire schedule and locations, as well as product images and spec sheets. To launch the print editor, click the file menu, then select print editor. This will display the print editor screen over the visual design environment. With the print editor displayed, you cannot make changes in the design environment. If you need to return to the design environment, select the Save and Close command from the Home tab of the ribbon bar, or from the File menu. The print editor interface, like the design environment, uses a ribbon bar at the top of the screen and a sidebar to the right. The current page is displayed in the center area of the screen. The Home tab on the ribbon bar contains commonly used commands in the print editor. From this tab, you can add, copy, and delete pages. You can select the printer and paper size, and insert drawings and tables. The Home tab also includes the Zoom commands that allow you to zoom in for a closer look. Select the Insert tab on the ribbon bar to review the items you can add to your page. There are several auto-generated table reports you can select, like luminaire schedule, luminaire locations, and statistics. You can select the title block for the page, insert product information from the QD Brands database, add scale drawings, and save views. Other items you can add include images, notes, text fields, PDFs, lines and callouts, and customized tables. In the sidebar to the right are the Pages and Property tabs. The Pages tab is used to navigate the pages in the print editor. The Properties tab will provide more information about the selected objects as you edit them and can be used to change object information. Like in the design environment, the print editor has a status bar along the bottom. From here you can view the coordinates of the mouse on the page, adjust auto snap controls, and access additional zoom commands. Like popular Microsoft software, we can find the undo and redo controls at the top left of the print editor window. You can undo up to seven commands in the print editor. To change your page size, use the page setup control from the home tab of the ribbon bar. This will open a window to allow you to select a printer, enter a paper size, as well as set page orientation and margins. To select a predefined paper size, click the select paper button. In the lower right of either the Layout or Paper Quality tab, there is an Advanced button. Clicking this will display information from the selected printer. Under Paper slash Output, there is a Paper Size drop-down. We can then select our paper size from the available options. Typically, if you use a PDF printer like QPDF, you will have access to all common paper sizes. With your selection complete, you can back out and see that your paper size has indeed changed. If you were changing a page size on a report where you had already generated several pages, you could check the Apply to All Pages box to change all page sizes in the report. If you want your next page to be the same size as your current page, use the Copy button, which automatically duplicates your page and any items on the page. If you think you will use this page size or layout in the future on other projects, you can save your page as a template and then insert this new template page into your report. To do this, click the New command to open its menu, then save this page as a template. You will then be able to add this page in again by opening the New menu and selecting your saved template from the gallery. If you no longer need a page, make it the active page by selecting it in the Pages sidebar. Then use the Delete button and confirm your selection. Title blocks are specialized formatting items typically used to provide information about the drawing like its name, when it was created, by whom, as well as branding information about your company. You can edit the default title block to include your company logo and save this to the list of default title blocks. To do this, create a new page, then select the visual logo in the title block. In the properties bar at the top of the page, select the image button. You can now browse for your company logo. Consider including your contact information as part of your logo image. Once you select an image from your file system, it is presented in the image preview. You can accept the image, adding it to your title block. If you select the title block by clicking on its outline, you can then use the Templates button in the Properties window to save this as a user title block template. 
Now when you add a title block to your next page, you will be able to select your custom title block from the title block gallery. To edit any text on a title block, simply double click it and start entering your new text. The page title portion of the title block automatically rotates your text. If you wish to change this, select the page title area, then in the properties sidebar, adjust the text orientation to your needs. With your page size set and your title blocks customized, you can start adding information to your report. Next, you will learn how to add scale drawings, design views, luminaire schedules, product information, and finally, PDFs.